Welcome back to Prem Top 10. The stadium buzzes with excitement as the 2023-24 Premier League season kicks off. Erling Haaland in colours of City stands ready on the field. And we're off to a roaring start in the 23-24 season with determination in his eyes. Haaland position himself ready for action. Haaland wastes no time. In a flash, Allen meets an header from Rodri's precise delivery. With finesse, he strikes the ball with his left foot. Allen connects with Rodri's header. Goal! What a goal! The ball soars past James Trafford, the burner keeper, and finds the back of the net. And it's in the net. What a start for Allen. The crowd erupts into cheers, acknowledging Allen's impressive feat. Three minutes and five seconds, that's all it took. A memory flashes back to 2018-19 season. Paul Pogba, playing for Man United, scores a rapid goal. The ball hits the net just two minutes and 23 seconds into the match. The crowd recalls that moment and reacts with nostalgia. Pogba set the bar back then. Haaland, the quick goal ends a six-game scoreless streak for Haaland in all competition for Man City ending a dry spell for Haaland. The coaches and the teammates celebrate on the sideline acknowledge Haaland's achievement. Well done Haaland. Haaland raises arms in celebration basking in the cheers of the fans. Herlin Haaland has now scored against 17 of the 20 Premier League teams he has faced in the competition, failing only against Brentford, Chelsea and Liverpool. And it looks like we have a sudden turn of events, folks. Kevin De Bruyne, the star player for Manchester City, is down on the field. De Bruyne seems to be in pain. This is quite reminiscent of the UEFA Champions League final only two months ago. <sighs> what a blow for both De Bruyne and Manchester City. He was instrumental in their last season performance, assisting more goals than any other player in the Premier League across all competitions. A total of 28 assists. That's an incredible feat. Now we see Kovacic, the sum of signing, warming up on the sidelines. And now the manager has decided to replace the burner with the new signing, Matija Kovacic. Kovacic has big shoes to fill right now, considering the incredible performance the burner consistently delivers. Meanwhile, with the burner off the field, Kyle Walker is taking over as the captain. This is undoubtedly a huge blow for Manchester City. Losing a key player like the burner could impact their performance significantly. And not just this performance, but future performance leading up to the title charge. Let's hope that the burner injury isn't too serious and that he will come back again on the field soon. Now we see the burner on the sidelines receiving some medical attention as the crowd watches anxiously for the star player and just like that Erling Haaland makes it 2-0 now we see Haaland celebrating his goal enthusiastically what a moment for Haaland but that's not all with that goal he reaches a remarkable milestone this goal marks his 100th goal within the top 5 European leagues since his debut for Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga on January 18, 2020 a hundred goals in just 103 games truly phenomenal performance by the young talent holland acknowledging the crowd's applause it's worth noting that the only player to have scored more frequently in the top five european leagues during this period is none other than robert lewandowski with 114 goals to his name what an incredible journey holland has had so far and at this rate who knows what more he can achieve in the future and it's a half-time break. It's been quite a ride for Manchester City so far. And they're in the lead with a comfortable 2-0 scoreline. All thanks to the brilliance of Erling Haaland, who has found the net twice. And not only has he showcased his goal-scoring prowess, but he's also hit a major milestone. His second goal marks his 100th across the top five European leagues and he achieved this feat in just 103 appearances in the Bundesliga and the Premier League combined. A truly remarkable achievement. What's even more astonishing is that Holland managed to score as many goals too as he completed passes in the first half. That's just amazing. He doesn't touch the ball much and when he does, it's a banger. He scores. He gets the job done. 
a vintage Arlen indeed. The young striker is proving his worth on the field today. On the position front, Manchester City has dominated the game with an impressive 73.6% possession. However, Burnley hasn't been left out of the action. Despite the position difference, they managed to position themselves for potential scores. Burnley has actually made their presence felt in the opposition box with 10 touches, which interestingly is one more than Manchester City total of nine. It just goes to show that position doesn't always tell the whole story. Burnley is certainly making the most of their chances. As we head into the second half, keep your ears peeled for a thrilling moment in this intense showdown between Manchester City and Burnley. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game we have witnessed tonight. Manchester City put on a spectacular performance and one of the players that truly shone was none other than Rodri. Rodri's presence on the field was commanding and his stats back it up. He's managed to achieve something remarkable tonight. He became the first player in the Premier League season to achieve a milestone. He recorded an astounding 100 touches in tonight's game. A 100 touches, that's an incredible display of control and influence over the game. But you know what's intriguing? Despite the sheer frequency of his touches, it's almost become customary for Rodri to be at the heart of every move. And let's not forget his passing game. He completed a staggering 91 passes tonight, making him the leader in that department as well. But what also caught my attention was his defensive contribution. Rodri wasn't just about creating challenges. He was instrumental in regaining position for his team. He showcased his versatility by winning position through three tackles tonight, a number that stood out as the highest for the team. And the icing on the cake was his involvement in that crucial opening goal. His perfectly executed header set up Holland for that fantastic goal. Truly a multifaceted player, Rodri's performance tonight was a masterclass in midfield dominance and impact. Without a doubt, it's night like these make football fans appreciate the skill and dedication these players bring to the pitch. As the season unfolds, we will eagerly watch him to see if Roger continues to maintain this level of brilliance. What a privilege it is to witness such remarkable talent on display. And now, Roger has added a goal to his already brilliant performance. What a match that he has had. Roger shown his skills on the field. There's a goal mark scramble. Holland and Ake battling to get the ball in the net. The tension is palpable as they fight for control. And it's the Spanish midfielder who sees the opportunity. Rodri hammers the ball past James Stratford, sealing the deal for City's 3-0 lead. The crowd is on their feet celebrating this incredible moment. It might not be as iconic as the UEFA Champions League final goal against Inter Milan, but today's goal certainly add to his legacy and I'm sure he's overjoyed with his performance today. The crowd roars as an intense match between Burnley and the opposition team unfolds. A player from the Burnley team charges towards Kyle Walker. With a reckless tackle, he makes contact with Kyle Walker's calf, completely missing the ball. Referee Craig Parson raises a yellow card. And as we roar with a dangerous tackle here, he's shown a yellow card by Craig Parson. The stadium buzzes with anticipation as the VAR comes into play. The referee Craig Parson reviews the incident on screen and here comes the VAR review. Let's see if this changes the referee's decision. The VAR team examines different angles of the, of the tackles incident on their screens. There was a clear contact and Walker's calf no ball whatsoever. The referee Craig Parson signals for the players to hold on as he approaches the sideline for consultation. Looks like the referee is getting some advice from the VAR team. After a brief discussion, Craig Parson returns to the field and brandish a red card towards Aina Zerouri and he's off. The VAR review has led to a major decision change. The Burnley fans protest the decision while the opposition team supporters cheer with in approval. Aina Zerouri become the first player to be sent off in a team's opening game of the Premier League season since Morgan Schneiderlin in 2019-2020 in for Everton. Now we see a disappointed Anna Zeruri's face as he walks off the field. The match continues but the controversial red card decision continues to be a topic of discussions among the fans and analysts and players alike. No problems for Manchester City tonight as they secure a convincing victory against Burnley with the final score being 3-0. 
The final whistle blows and Manchester City players celebrate their triumphant start to the Premier League title defence. With this convincing win, Manchester City launched their Premier League title defence with a bang, a night of outstanding performance with memorable goals. Man of the match goes to Holland with Rodri coming close second. That's it for the roundup. Have a blessed one until next time.